am I the only person? Am I the only person that's constantly surprised by how incapable most comedians are to laugh at themselves or to allow themselves to be the butt of the joke when it comes to their fans or content creators making things online and shit? Because there's this clip I'm going to play that features Luis J. Gomez, um, Zach Amico, um, what's her name? Um, Something Feehan and Mark Norman on an episode of Rap where they basically react to um, Crack Amico's excellent Two Bears, One Cave disc. And Mark Norman is like physically uncomfortable watching the whole thing. And he barely says anything about the song itself. He's almost like, I wouldn't say offended, or, but he almost seems like he's scared to say anything because he doesn't want to be in another video. Like, it's an odd reaction. And again, I'm a fan of Mark Norman, but for someone like him, you always think like he's in on a joke. He likes to laugh at himself. He's always kind of throwing out zingers, no pun intended, and like little one-liners to kind of keep the mood loose. So he always wants to laugh and joke and he's never in a serious tip. But on this particular clip, he is almost like, it's almost like he's in shock at what he saw. Like, he's almost in shock. Like, watch it. It's a very strange reaction. I watched it earlier. I was like, huh, these comedians aren't really good at laughing themselves, are they? They just want you to laugh at them, at their jokes. They want you to buy their merch. They want you to watch their content. They want you to follow them, buy tickets to their shows. But if you poke fun back at them in a funny, humorous, comedic, musical way, they're almost like a cat fucking caught in the fucking headlights and shit. It's fucking weird. Watch this. Please watch this. Wow. Wow. Crack Amico. It's not me. Wow. He's on fire. <laughs> That's what's up, nigga. Uh, another unbelievable track by the great Crack Amico. Uh, but yeah, you know. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day where someone spent that much time shitting on comedians. It's the research he does. Is yeah, what I, mean, I find really here, impressive. And here's the thing: this is what I'll say. You know, this is what I said about I said about Red Bar, right? Because Red Bar, Red Bar, taking some shots. You know, if you are good at what you do, it's fucking commendable mm -hmm. and it's respectable. And even if you don't agree with the message, like I love Bert and Tom; they're fucking great. Yeah. I, like obviously. I've um I'm friends with Bert. I'm not friends with Tom, but every time I've ever encountered Tom Segura, he's been super fucking cool. Good dude. Um, good dude. Um, but you know, look, it's smart for crack to do stuff like. Yep, Keith T. I believe a lot of comedians were teased growing up and have thin skin because of it. Ah, uh, that might be that. You just maybe explained it perfectly, there, mate. You might have completely explained it there. You might have perfectly explained why some of these guys are incapable because I. It almost seems like he's uncomfortable. Like, oh, it's like a flashback of like a bygone era of like, a, like, oh my God. Like, I don't know. Like, he looks really like, he doesn't like it. Like, he's not really at ease at, at all with it. It's almost like he's offended on Tom and Bert's behalf as well. Because there's maybe his friends. But he takes it really, like, he's not like, he doesn't look happy. You know, like, I don't know. Again. I could be reading way too much into it. I don't have any friends. I'm a fucking loser. I'm in my fucking parents' basement. Hands covered in fucking Cheeto dust. I get it. But he looks very uncomfortable. And just listen also. Luis J. Gomez is doing all the talking. This Feehan woman's not saying anything. Mark's barely saying anything. They're just kind of like... <laughs> they're not saying much, right? They're not trying to co-sign anything. Maybe they're trying to protect their Rogan connect. I don't know. But it's a strange reaction. Just keep watching. I think it also it also we des we make fun of a lot of people on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I think we can fucking. I like how Lucha Gomez is giving Crack Amico the permission to make this records like funny. Like okay, thank you for giving people the permission to make fun of you guys. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're so fucking honored that you guys would grace us with your permission, right? <laughs> For us to laugh at some of the dumb, stupid shit you say. Great. We fucking love it. Get made fun of sometimes. You gotta yeah. take a beating sometimes. You gotta take a beating sometimes. That's just the, the way it is. Nobody's you know, perfect. and you can't you can't be sensitive uh, about it. Oh, and that's just the truth. I, I take a beating more than anybody. Do you think either of them the ever hear it? They will hear that. Really? Unqu unquestionably. I think people start tagging him. I know they'll hear. I know that I've fucking when they that. did the uh, L.A. is gay song, I know that Tony and Rogan that. listened I... to it together. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, they hear it, dude. Nobody's above Googling themselves. Yeah. That's just what we are. We're pieces of shit. It's kind of the price you pay for comedy. We're like a huge boom. It's insanely popular. Let me popular, make this very this clear. If, but if that bothered Bert, and Bert it... no, it's not even that. That's why I never said it's not even the boom thing. Sometimes you just say some dumb shit, and sometimes it's funny to just poke fun. It's not even that deep. It really isn't. And I don't think the crack. Of, and again, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm not the best judge for it because I love the song and shit. But I don't even think the the song is done with any sort type of malice. It's just a fun thing to sort of like laugh about and poke fun at because of how ridiculous all of their careers are. That's the thing I. That's the one thing that I don't like about these comedians. Sometimes they don't acknowledge just how insane their careers are because of their friendship with Rogan. They don't acknowledge how dumb that is. How funny that is to to the outside looking in. How they treat Rogan. How they talk about Rogan. How they won't talk about certain people, but they talk about other people. How they all refuse to acknowledge that he's not funny. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like they, I love all that stuff. That stuff is hilarious to kind of poke fun at as like a fan and a viewer from the outside because it's clear that there's like a hierarchy. It's clear that they change how they speak about certain people based on who's around it's clear how there's some people that you can't talk about some people that you can't talk about it's clear that rogan's fucking stamp of approval can legitimately change your life which is understandable but they just refuse to acknowledge all these things or act like we don't notice it when it's clear we see it but hey exactly david guerrero they know where their bread is buttered exactly exactly which is fine but let's not also pretend like it's not funny to laugh at the fact that they know where their bread is buttered and they're also minding their words and making sure that, you know, fucking Rogan can keep buttering their bread with his fucking man juice bread shit. It wouldn't. It, Bert literally would dry his tears with the amount of money he makes touring. It doesn't fucking matter. That is the least, the least of anybody's it's fucking concerns is somebody saying some mean jokes or it should be at the very least, right? I get to live my fucking dream. So you can say all the mean shit you guys want about me all you want because I get to fucking literally do what I want to do with my life every day, which is awesome. So Ooh, amazing. I get the feeling Luis J. Gomez is a bit of a wanker. As much as I like the guy, I get the feeling like he's a bit of a wanker, but I also get the feeling he fucking loves the attention. He legitimately is somebody that I would believe Google's himself, Twitter searches themselves, hashtag searches themselves. Like, I definitely believe he's that kind of guy that goes through all these fucking DMs. Like, like he is legitimately like... You know what I mean? Like, he thinks very, very highly of himself. The way he talks about that shitty fucking gas digital shit he's got going on. Like, he probably would prefer it if Crack Amico did an entire song about gas digital and about, I don't know, what's that show they called? Legion of Skanks. And I don't know. You know what I mean? I think he's probably would prefer that as opposed to focusing on Bert and Tom, who are clearly far more successful than him. Um, but hey, I could be wrong. So, um, yeah, I think it's awesome. I think Crack Amico's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I can't fucking take the muzzle off Crack, and I would never try to. I love the Take the muzzle off Crack? Why would why would that even be an option? What is this thing that they're trying to act like? Is Crack Amico, like, part of Legion of Skanks crew or something? Why are they acting as if, like, he's their employee and they can, like, tell him not to, like, what is this? Is, is that the case? Again, I don't know much about Crack Amico's association work-wise, but I know he knows these guys, but is he, like, part of, like, Gas Digital and shit? Is that why they act like this? Why is Lucia Gomez acting like, I can't take the muzzle off him? It's like, what? Is he your fucking pet? Is he your dog? Is he your attack dog? Is that what you're trying to say? Or are they just being funny? I don't really get what's going on here. Or maybe is he part of, like, their show's like legitimately i love what he does he's fucking very very talented um all right we gotta run you guys are so is there like a scenario there where luis J. gomez paid crack amico to make that song <laughs> i don't i don't think that's true to be honest but i just find the way they're talking about it like he's almost taking credit for the song or something like it's weird oh really he wrote kim kondong's walkout song for a special okay so maybe he's no He's really clicked into comedians. Okay, I don't know that stuff. Thank you, Ricky Pitcher. Norman is scared because all of his big content is dealing with hecklers and he doesn't want the smoke lol. I swear those hecklers are plants. They won't show themselves caught with their pants down. Very, 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 very true. No, very, very true. Um, I think what you said is true. What the other person, somebody else said about um, most comedians being super insecure and being so super thin-skinned also means makes a lot of sense because... 
I think it's probably one thing when you're like directing the jokes at the audience or when you're saying the jokes. It's another thing when you're the comedian and the jokes are coming at your in your direction. It can be probably hard to take. It's probably the same thing why not all comedians enjoy doing roasts and shit. You know, you have to be a certain type of person. You have to have a certain type of deposition to kind of be able to put yourself up for that sort of stuff. Most people probably wouldn't um, willingly put themselves in the crossroads of professional comedians to tear them apart and pointing out all the insecurities and whatever, the things that, you know, whatever, right? For, just for the sake of humour. I personally love it, but I'm so, most of them probably don't, which makes a lot of sense. But I just find the way they were acting about it, especially Norman, like he was almost kind of like, you know, stage... He was almost kind of like just in shock at the whole thing. Like his face, like he just didn't know what to say. Like he was like, look at me. Like, eh. like he legitimately did not enjoy that at all. Zero. Hearing his famous friends getting fucking dunked on. He didn't enjoy that at all. But hey. Um, and again, <laughs> look at the Feehan woman. Look, she's fucking grin. She's fucking cringing and grimacing at the thought of it as well. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. What can you do? What can you do?